My heart is broken. I miss you people so much and I want to get back. I want to go back home. <laughs> <laughs> I want to apologize. Hello there. We are back again with another YouTube video. And thank you so much for tuning in. And in today's video, of course, is a reaction video. If I'm doing interview, I think you already know. But this one is reaction. And I'm reacting to all these people lamenting about Nigeria. Why? Why are you people coming out to talk about your problem? Then you will still be the one to come back and fight those that are talking about it. Hmm? okay fine we're gonna start with this and then i'll get to pleasant green okay first hold on hold on let me start with pleasant green because i am a big fan of pleasant green because his job on youtube here entails so much intelligence and i'm a big sucker for brain i love it when people are intelligent eh? you know they say what you don't have when you see it on other people you want to have it i love intelligent people i have been following this man so let me play clips um, from his video and i'll be back again to tell you more about him and other people keep watching so i pick on nigerians a lot in my videos and it's not my intention it just so happens that the majority of scams that i personally come across originate out of nigeria now, I've never once said that all Nigerians are scammers or that just because someone is in Nigeria, it means that they're a scammer, but it's definitely a problem over there among young men. Some of them do it because it's the cool thing to do, and some of them do it because they can't think of better ways to make money. So today, I want to tell you how I worked with a couple of Nigerians to do something even cooler that will also make some money. Ever since I started following Pleasant Green, I have been loving his channel, but I don't know why Nigerians will go there and blame him for their downfall. They will blame him. Why are you always saying bad about Nigerians? He said he has not, like it's not something that he deliberately want to do. Sometimes in his videos, he wishes he do not have to, these scammers don't, they shouldn't be Nigerians. He wishes so bad that they are not Nigerians, but he will just end up at it again. like because he used tracker to track people and they would lead him back to Lagos or any part of Nigeria. Okay, fine. They lead him back to my village. Just lead him. These trackers will lead him to Nigeria. They keep leading him to Nigeria. And he can't say otherwise because that is what it is. So Nigerians are angry with him that why is he always labeling them as all the same, being the same? So he made this video here. You can go to his page and watch it. His name is pleasant green he's uh, an american youtuber who does a lot on cyber crime and i love his channel a lot now i'm done with that now let me play some clips of some nigerians complaining on social media um most time there's no light so you have life is getting quite expensive living and breathing and existing rent is getting more expensive probably didn't even increase your salary at work you, everywhere is hot. How are people surviving? Life is just hard. Being a Nigerian is hard. If they give me a millionaire, it's supposed to be big. It's supposed to be big money. And then when I want to save it, it's like I'm saving peanuts. It's still below a thousand dollars. That's just sad. It's very, very sad and depressing to think about. Still go and I'm like, what is going on? Life is expensive. A great, great, great number of Nigerians are like living in poverty and even people that are supposedly not living in poverty are kind of struggling i'm like wondering what you are thinking why on social media you do not want other people to talk about you but you can talk about yourselves right what is it my sister why are they complain why why are you complaining when other people are doing it you get mad but you do it we will cast stone at other people I don't get it. This is a man who have been scammed almost all the time by our people. So when he comes out to complain, you people are angry. But you people can come out to sit down, make a video, complain. Hey, Nigeria, I don't cause it, don't do this, it don't frustrate. There are tons of videos on this topic. But man, I just want to play this few, few ones, okay? Because it's a long topic. Why do you people hate me? Basically, why are people jealous of me? Why do people hate me? Or is it because I don't live in Nigeria? So people that live in Nigeria can actually come out and speak or people that have a larger audience of Nigerians following them can come out to speak, but I cannot. Abby? <laughs> My heart is broken. 
I miss you people so much and I want to get back. I want to go back home. <laughs> I want to apologize. I want to apologize for a crime I didn't commit. Like, you see this matter, we're going to be on it until we all change our attitude. Now, how come you guys are not, many Nigerians are not angry with the Nollywood film producers, but they'll come to me and be mad at me. Why are you guys, why are we not mad at our Nollywood film producers, storytellers and all that? Because they seem to portray Nigeria in a more dirty light. Nollywood producers portray Nigeria as a country that worships money, that adores money, that the center of the life of a Nigerian is all around money. This is Nollywood. Nobody is complaining. We buy these movies, we love it, we enjoy it, we export it abroad, and people lay hand on it, and they judge us based on that. Truth be told, for some of us, we judge Indians based on their movies. It's not like we've been to India before, or we have had a friend with Indian before, or we have had anything close to do with Indians, but we just judge them based on the movies we see. We, we strongly believe that everything about Indians is all about love, 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 religion, and that uh, hey, they are movies. You know, what we see in movies is what we think of them. So don't you think that Nollywood is your biggest problem and not YouTubers? You see that energy we use to attack pleasant green we should use it to attack the real enemy with the image destroyer aka the one that got you there you understand so let's use it to criticize them let's use it to talk to them let's use it to let them know that whatever they do affects us not just them rather than us always going out there to attack people on the internet because they have made videos they have they play their reality just like pleasant green who constantly track people back to nigeria which is not his fault he has stated it in many of his videos that he wished that you know he have dealt with a case that he wished this one is not a nigerian so that he can just you know for once not talk about us but it will take him back there don't you guys think it's time we face the truth we look at our injury like this and say ah this is the problem that we have a doctor treat it do you understand what i mean so rather than us coming online to attack i was telling a nigerian friend of mine recently i say is it i think it's time we stop posting all the kidnapping on the internet like instant blog we stop posting those oh this one did this in nigeria this one killed this one this one did that because they bring the news just the way the, uh, this news happen and then we get to, people get to see and then they start to you know they have they have this confirmation of all that they have heard about us and then you will go around you look for someone that is not from your tribe you say okay is this one is this one okay you go around and you look for a youtuber that is not from your tribe you go oh yeah this is the problem this is the one that is spoiling our image this is the one that is spoiling our name you just blame it my brother my sister you are playing because the real problem on ground you have refused to treat it treat the problem on ground and everything will be well in our land tell people the truth because i strongly believe that these kidnappers have wives they marry they have mothers they have sisters they have brothers and fathers do you ask people where they get money from all of a sudden someone that has no job someone you didn't train in school someone you have you have not invested on just got up with huge sum of money and they tell you mama i've make it and you just believe and you just agree with them and you just love them and enjoy that money you did not investigate you not think twice you just enjoy it because of course it's money and then later you now sit down and why touch lights and uh, when efc efcc when after efcc catch your brother you now carry touch light and go on youtube and be looking for video makers to attack don't you think it's time we stand up and say no enough is enough don't you think because for me i had like i'm tired i had enough enough it don't be enough for me seriously if you ask me because for us to rebrand we have to look at things like this like this one we are not getting it right this aspect let us rebrand by telling all the blogs all the nigerian youtubers that lives in nigeria 
to stop talking about their their pain in nigeria tell them to never talk about it again so don't always come on my channel just because you can hear me because my own english you can hear it it's clear you just come and say eh now you they cause the problem you saw your country you did this one when your brother is the problem and not me come to ghana and see come to ghana and see come to ghana at night just go out on the streets of accra and see you will see your sisters our sisters our friends just queuing up on the road half naked and they speak pigeon they are loud have you seen me go there to video and post no i can't i won't do that because it is none of my business but don't make it my business don't come and say i am the one when because the people that live here in this country here there are people and in south africa head is the same thing in other countries ahead is the same thing so people will see these people and they will know who they could judge they uses them to people use them to judge us so it's not just the youtube videos that we make for me i have made up my mind to admit that nigeria needs help yeah i'm not going to keep quiet we need help i'm not going to find you to sweeten you to continue to rotten i think we should come out speak up find a solution report people and then when something bad happens to a nigerian don't take it to be like mm, no me now nah. it's not from my tribe now nah. take it that that can happen to you you are the next because when these kidnappers are done kidnapping all the available people who is next who who is next so please hmm? instead of judging people getting angry with people Tell the people that are the problem to stop it. All right? Tell them to stop scamming people. Tell them to stop kidnapping. Tell them to stop doing all sort of. And then everywhere will balance. Me here, yeah, I will not be able to talk again. Hmm? I will not be able to say anything again. Uh, for those who say they want to shame me, please shame me. Shame me by doing the right thing. I want to be ashamed to hear that there is no more kidnapping. There is no more yahoo yahoo. There is no more all sort of vice going on all these reputation destroyers are no more existing i will be happy i will be happy to be disgraced until then i'll see you guys in another video